Okay, so it's Sunday, <laughs> 31st December 2017 at 1.30 p.m. So today is uh, New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Yeah, it's New Year's Eve. Right? So, yeah, I'm just, um, thought I'll just make a video. Video. Well, um, the, 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 the lighting is uh, that bluish haze thing, Ugh, bad lighting. It's coming from the window, it's a bit cloudy, yeah, cloudy. <laughs> so I was, in, uh, I was thinking, should I make a resolution? No, I don't feel like making a resolution for you. Yeah. My resolutions for 2018. I thought I'd just make a video. Just, uh, well, I guess I, haven't, I guess I haven't made one in a while. Just, uh, yeah, so. I don't know what to say. What do I say? Um, so, yeah, 2017. Uh, time, time, time. I feel like time is passing. And uh, be productive, do things, achieve things. But I think life is also about the journey, not just the destination. So I think the journey is important. Very, very, very important, actually. The journey is very important. I used to feel like that. I used to feel like the journey was important even though I didn't even know that's how I was. Then I became like, oh no, 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 the destination is important. But then, no, actually the journey is important as well. Very important. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll not make a resolution for you. Um, yeah, I hope 2018, having said that, I hope 2018 is, um, well, you know, I hope every day is, uh, I'm taking it one day at a time. <laughs> yes, every day is important, not just, um, not just New Year's Eve, uh, every single day. Every single day is important. Um, yes, it is. So I've been doing my time management. Um, like I use this program called Forest. It's like it's counting down. So yeah, I put this uh, like, what do you do is you, um, you can, uh, you set the time and then I think the maximum is two hours, which you can do it over and over again. And, it, and, you, and you, you can tag each time block to a certain task. So this task, I started at 1.30 and I, it's tagged under social media and what happens is this this thing over here is like you're planting a tree you see this tree you can see the, 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 you can't see the tree over there because you can see the tree a little bit anyway so if this plant grows into a tree and then like if you like this is basically to help you not use the phone so as long as you don't use your phone the tree will grow and uh so this is to help people concentrate on their tasks rather than being distracted by the phone. But I use it to help me motivate, you know, help motivate me to do things. And it's really, really helpful because I find my, I'm doing a lot more things when I, because I want the tree to grow. Because when the tree grows, they give you like these coins sort of thing. And with the coins, you can buy different ta ta types of trees. And like, I think, uh, you know, like, for, Let's say you, you focus for one hour, then you might get like 30 coins. And then I, might, I think a new tree is like 500 coins. Anyway, so that's a motivation. That's like the reward. So that's the motivation is to get the coins um, and successfully plant a tree. So it's that, it's that psychological mechanism of reward. So you do a task and you get a reward and I can't, it's really motivating. And you can actually plant real trees. Uh, it's like if you manage to plant so many trees virtually, 
like completing tasks you can use that I think there's a way like there's somewhere I don't know they have this program where I think if you want to plant a real tree it's like I don't know you have to plant maybe a thousand trees virtually or something I don't know so there's that other motiv motivation as well real trees planting real trees uh, you know <sighs> anyway <laughs> so that's what I do time management it's really helpful um, so yeah um, I want to buy an air filter because I'm looking forward to buying an air filter next month I've uh, spoken to my brother like yes I need to because I paid my rent for this month uh, both times so Maybe I can, because I want to get an air filter for my room, because I feel like the air in my room is not good. And I also want to get a job, and you know, that's, that's really important to me, because it's part of my mental health, because, um, it's like, it's like, uh, my, my mental health will probably be improved by getting a job, depending on the environment, of course the type of job you do because some of the jobs can create stress in themselves but I do think like you know I might you know I can get financially healthy and and stuff like that so that can has its um benefits mental health benefits so that's also one thing I want to try and achieve and um yes yeah, also do my um voice practice and the hair thing you see like um this is not the hair I shaved yesterday this is actually like scarring, you know, scarring from the electrolysis. My next appointment is on like a January 12th or something. Yeah, at the moment I'm like uh, on exemption from Centrelink because uh, I was really having some serious uh, depression, anxiety issues, like uh, a few weeks but I feel like I'm sort of getting a little bit better mainly by um, doing the time management thing and uh, yeah I want to I want to take care of myself I guess 2018 uh, you know I want to take care of myself be kinder to myself be nice to myself yeah. and continue with my time management which I feel like is really helping me um, work on my diet and be more disciplined and uh, yeah do exercises and um yeah just just take care of myself be kind to myself be nice to myself yeah that's something i want to do is to be nice to me you know to treat myself with kindness and compassion yeah that's something i want to do um Oh yeah, my weight, you know, my average weight for last week was 58.64 um, or something, so my, you know, so I'm reaching, I want, I initially wanted to go down to 120 pounds, but I didn't want to go down to 52 kilos. Oh no, uh, is that too low? No, I don't think that's too low, as long as I can... You know, have a healthy diet and exercise well, and I think I think I think fifty two kilos. Yeah, yeah, I think that's achievable. Um, yeah. So, yes. Yeah, so, but I, I want to like uh, you know, work on my diet and you know things like that. So, I like I like I made a blog, get control of my life, where I post my. Uh, Time management, weight and money diary. I've still got to work on my money diary thing. Like, you know, record all my stuff. I, I think I've got to start my money diary again for January the 1st, tomorrow. Because I feel like all of my, like, my money diary, I'm trying to put my values and, like, um, it's, it's, I don't know if it's actually accurate, but I'm going to finish the November and December. But I'm, but I'm, I'm going to finish that. But I'm also going to start, uh, like restart my uh, money diary for 2018. Like start afresh. Like what's, how much money do I have on January 1st, 2018? And like restart the calculation. Hopefully I'll be more accurate. I mean, be more diligent. Like maintaining it every day. Yeah, something like that. Oh, so.
so I, 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 I ranted, rambled for over 10 minutes. So I spoke meaningfully about my life <laughs> for 10 minutes. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so, okay. So that's my New Year's Eve 2017. When did New Year's Eve, do, is it like New Year's Eve 2017 or New Year's Eve 2018? I think it's 2017, 31st December. 2017 is New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve is 31st December. I think the year is, well, it's 2017, so I have to put 2017. Yeah. yeah. I, I did uh, buy some things from eBay. Like I bought this um, Rainbow Bright DVD collection, which I remember from my childhood. I also got a replacement battery for the PSP, Sony PlayStation Portable, which is my brother's. Um, I want to get oh that's that's for another thing I I want to like uh, maybe start learning Japanese uh, because I wanna, mainly because I want to play Japanese video games because they're in Japanese and so I was thinking like hey maybe that's something I could do as a hobby learn Japanese you know like yeah you know, uh, on my own you know just uh, learn how to write read mainly to read. And yeah, to, to understand the Japanese, you know, what they're saying. I'm, I'm not really interested in speaking Japanese, but I want to learn, I want to learn to read Japanese and maybe understand Japanese. Um, so I might, I might consider doing that as a hobby. And also maybe also learn web programming because I have my own uh, website, not, not my blog, my actual website. And maybe I want to just do, you know, yesterday I was reading of this HTML thing, so that might be another hobby I might do or something, I don't know. So, uh, you know, I want to do hobbies as well. You know, just, you know, do something, you know, I, I want to... <sighs> yes, I want to be kind to myself. I don't want to be too hard on myself. I'm gonna, like, you know, I'm... I don't want to be hard, harsh on myself because I'm unemployed and stuff like that. I don't want to treat myself badly, you know, you know. So I want to be kind to myself and hopefully by being kind to myself I can figure out what I want to do with my life and go out and do it and, you know, I do stuff like that. Yeah. I saw The Watchmen yesterday. Uh, that's a pretty cool movie. I really liked it. Um, pretty stylish and yeah, it's a pretty nice, it's a very interesting story. Um, anyway. Alright, so that's my video, my easy video. Uh, now I gotta encode this and upload it. And uh, yeah.